stay with me and I'll teach you how to make this awesome Italian dinner right now. So today we're gonna make Italian sauce or gravy or whatever the heck you call it. I think you guys, if you wanna have an argument about that, down in the comments below, go right ahead. But it doesn't really matter to me what you call it. You're seeing both in the description of the video, quite simply, so that way everyone can find what they're looking for. You'll have some people that ins insist it's called gravy, some people insist it's sauce. If you go to Italy, they don't know what gravy is. Some people here say gravy is anything that has meat in it. So what we're gonna make is gonna have meat in it. I'm gonna take you through the ingredients we're gonna use. We're gonna use a little onion, some garlic, fresh basil that I'm gonna chop up and throw in there, um, some salt. I've got red chili flake that I like to use in a grinder. I like to grind it up. It, it, it makes the flavor that much, more, that much better versus just shaking flakes into your food. Extra virgin olive oil, some uh, red wine to deglaze the bottom of the pot. And so now we're gonna get to the meat section here. And there are a lot of different directions you can go. A lot of people use brujol, meatballs, uh, both hot and sweet sausage. You can, you can use whatever you like. Um, I typically use meatball, hot and sweet sausage, and a piece of pork or beef. And so today we've got uh, some pieces of pork butt, beef shoulder, and sweet Italian sausage. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook it in this pot. Uh, you can go stove top or you can go in the oven. This happens to be a Dutch oven. You can use this on top of the stove or in the oven. I'm gonna put it in the oven and slow cook it for about five hours. So the first thing we wanna do is season the meat and get it into the uh, pot with some, with some olive oil and just brown it slightly. One of the things that I didn't mention before is the tomato. And I'm gonna use a San Marzano tomato, um, some crushed, and then I'm also gonna use uh, puree. I like it to be a little thicker. Even though you see me adding salt and pepper here now, I'm gonna definitely be adding some more to the uh, pot later. I'm actually gonna use some of my garlic oil in here and um, so I was just saying I'm using my garlic oil in here you can find the recipe in my video playlist and um, I'm gonna be using a little bit more um, extra virgin olive oil in addition to this I'm just coating the meat right now with the olive oil and after we uh, brown the meat I'll take it off and I'll put the sausage in here while I'm waiting for this to brown, I'm gonna chop up the onions and the, and the basil. So we've got the onion chopped and uh, I'm gonna rough cut this garlic. I don't want to have it uh, too small because I don't want us to be chewing on pieces of garlic, so I'm just going to rough cut it. Okay, that'll be it. There's plenty of garlic in there already. Check on the meat. All right. While that sausage is browning, I am going to just rough cut this basil. All right, so we're going to take the sausages off. Put the onions in. We need a little bit more oil. Well, the garlic's gonna go, and I'm not gonna cook it like this for too long because I don't want it to burn. Okay, the red wine.
I'm gonna put the meat back. I'll add the tomato. Okay, now I'm gonna add the basil. And I'm gonna also put a little bit more salt and pepper. I'm gonna stir it in and I'm gonna put the lid on, let it simmer for a few minutes on the stovetop, then it's going in the oven. Like I said, for about four to five hours, and I'm gonna slow cook it at around 250. It's ready. Let's take the lid off. I'm gonna do it slowly so that way I do not fog up the lens. And this meat feels with the spoon very tender like it's gonna fall apart. Let's get it on a plate and look at it. Okay, this looks like a piece of the beef. Here is the pork. Yeah, that pork is falling apart. So is the beef. It's perfect. Now let's get it on a plate with some pasta. Let's put a little spaghetti on the plate. And some of that pork. Some of the beef. And a couple of sausages. A little bit of that sauce or gravy or whatever you want to call it. little cheese. Maybe a little bit more gravy on top of the meat. Or a sauce. Hopefully you enjoyed this recipe as much as I'm about to in about a few minutes here. If you liked it, please hit the subscribe button and come back to watch some more of my videos. Thanks again and have a great day.